Well, good afternoon to you. Tuesday now. Mother's gone down ill again, in it? But there we are. Never mind. I don't have much news really to tell you, not today, but I hope everybody's all right. And um, I'm saying I'll do a couple of Brenda Wootens today. I've got a few more stories to keep us going for the time. So, um, anyhow, this year one, just take care. Stay safe, it'll be all right. It'll be all right. Now, this year one's called Mother Christmas by the late Brenda Wootten. Who is it makes our Christmas? Who gets it all together? Who's always there when someone calls, no matter what the weather? Who is it puts the peas to soak and writes out all the cards? Why, mother's always streets ahead. She's streets ahead by yards. Who folds the rabbit pepper? Remember to buy the string. Or tags, the holly, silver bowls, most every bloomin' thing. Who knows all the carol's words? Who gets to church on time? It's mother. You rely on it. It's mother every time. Mince pies and puddings, logs and cakes, she scrapped all year to find. A little gift for everyone, whoever springs to mind. On summer days, she has to delve at village fate or stall. Now that would do for so-and-so. Can't leave ye out at all. On Christmas Day, while you wash up, just make or take a rest. And spoil her just a little bit, for she deserves the best. Don't look around for Santa Claus, there isn't any other. Who makes our Christmas every year? It is no one but Mother. Give me the job for Christmas, Mr Early Morning Blunt. Else all of we poor OAPs won't be there for the count. I'm sure that I could fill the job. I've got the girth, you see. My ho, ho, ho aren't quite like Ted's, but I'd shout it out with glee. I aren't no good on chimneys. I hope I don't get stuck. But give me the job for Christmas, Chris, and wish me lots of luck. Now, this is another one by Brenda. Celtic Jeans. Did you see that there professor chap? Last Wednesday on the box, he'd been dabbling with our Cornish jeans. Twas some old thing, my cox. See, he's been doing some research, and goodness knows what else, and come up with this daft idea that Cornish men aren't Celts. To be a Celt or not to be, well, I don't mind one bit. But if he'd said I wasn't Cornish, well, I'd had a bloomin' fit. King Arthur ruled this land of ours, and in our great glory basked. Was he a Celt or a Cornishman? Has anybody asked? We don't show much aggression, which some might think is weak, but it takes a lot of Cornish grit to turn the other cheek. Determination, yes, you've seen last year at Twickenham. The love was flowing far and wide when we learned that we had won. Just think of all the English the French and the Spanish too. You go and stir their jeans about, you'd find a motley crew. You find our Cornish Celtic links on coast or sea or moor. The strongest Celtic link you'll find is our language, that's for sure. So, you do your research, my cock, go on by any means. Mind, I aren't sure it's decent if you touch our Cornish jeans. For we belong what we did be, one thing I can't condone, our Cornish race is quite unique. You leave our genes alone. Thanks again. Bye-bye.